Welcome to Yoga by Rituals. My name is Mandy, and today I'll be guiding you through a fun and bonding flow for friends. So as the name suggests, you can practice with a friend, practice with a partner, or you can practice with yourself. I'm here alone as well, so know that most part of the sequence will be flowing by ourselves, but there will be some parts where you can assist or support your partner, or where you can build a deeper connection to each other. I hope that by the end of this class, you'll be filled with a feeling of gratitude and building a deeper connection to yourself and to your partner. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start in a seated position. So if you're practicing together, place the mats parallel to each other and come sit in front of each other. So you can look into each other's eyes. We're starting in a seiza pose. So the knees are together, hips are on top of the heels. Place your hands on your thighs. Roll the sh shoulders down the back, relax them down. Close your eyes here and breathe. Start to feel the shins resting on the mat. Feel the sitting bones on top of the heels. With your inhale, start to Grow taller through the side bodies, elongate the spine, relax the shoulders down, feel that lift through the heart, and as you exhale, ground back down. With your next inhale, lengthening a little bit more through the crown of the head. And with your exhale, again, grounding down into the mat. Taking a few breaths here. Breathing in and out through the nose. And placing both hands on your heart, palms facing down. Start to breathe towards those palms. Feeling the warm energy underneath the hands. Start to connect to the heart. Start to connect to that feeling of gratitude and love. See if you can start to expand that feeling. Fill up the whole body with a feeling of gratitude. I start to bring the awareness towards the eyes and also that feeling that we created around that heart space. Can you move that to the back of the eyes? And then gently start to blink open the eyes and gaze into the eyes of your partner, staying in your own energy here. Take a few breaths here. Feel the connection to your heart, staying in your own energy. One more breath here. Releasing your hands to your thighs. From here, we're gonna continue with a moving meditation connecting our movement to our breath. Say that flow. So start to bring your hands forward, palms face down. And as you inhale, start to curl the fingers in, make, make fists with the hands. Then move the hands towards the shoulders, elbows circle out. And as you exhale, press the hands out towards the sides. Inhale, bring the fingers in, hands towards the shoulders. Exhale, press the, press the hands forward. Inhale, bring the hands in towards the shoulders, loop the shoulders, exhale, press the hands out. Inhale, hands towards the shoulders, 
exhale, press forward. Continue your own, in your own rhythm. Every time you inhale, move the hands towards the shoulders. As you exhale, press out. As you inhale towards the shoulders. As you exhale, press out. Continue with two rounds by yourself. Linking your movement to breath. And if you want, you can keep gazing into each other's eyes. Or maybe you want to close your eyes here. Do what feels good here. And then from here, release the hands back down. We'll move on with the practice. So as you inhale, start to reach your hands up. Connect the palms. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale again, reaching up. Exhale, twisting over towards the right. Left hand to the outside of your right thigh. Right hand behind you. With your inhale, find more length. Exhale, twist. Inhale, come back to center. Reach up. Exhale, twist over towards the left. Right hand outside of your left thigh. Left hand behind you, inhale, find length, exhale, twist. Inhale, reach them up, both arms up. Right hand next to you on the floor with your left hand, reach up towards the sky and then stretch over towards the right. With your inhale, find more length, exhale, can you go a little bit deeper? Inhale, come back to center. Move over towards the other side, left hand on the floor, right hand reaches up, and then stretch over towards the left. Inhale, find more length. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, come back to center, reaching both arms up. This time, placing your right hand onto the floor in line with that right knee. Lift the hips up and extend your left leg out. Come into a supported side plank. Gaze up towards your left hand. Keep pressing the hip bones forward. Then with your inhale, reach your arm overhead. Feel that nice stretch in the side of your body. And then press yourself up. Reach your left hand down your thigh. With your inhale, reach up. Axle stretch over towards the left. Inhale back to center, reaching both arms up. Bring your hands in front of your heart. Curl your toes into the floor. Bring your hips on towards the heels. Then curl the toes of the left foot up towards the sky. Left hand into the floor, right hand reaches up. Inhale, reach both arms up. Then square your shoulders towards that left leg. Then start to fold forward here. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, again, fold. Inhale, reach all the way back up. Place your hands in front of your heart. Lift the hips and then bring that left knee to meet the right. Sit down onto the heels. We'll move towards the other side. Left hand in line with that left knee. Lift the hips. Extend your right leg. Reach your right hand high. Press the hip bones forward. With your inhale, reach your right arm over your head. Exhale here. Inhale, push yourself up. Exhale, come into your gate pose. Slide that right hand down your right thigh. Left hand reaches up and over. Inhale, come back to center. Both hands in front of your heart. Curl the toes of that left foot into the mat. And then come bring your hips towards your heels. Curl the toes of that right foot up. Right hand into the floor. Left hand reaches up and then stretches over towards that right foot. Inhale, coming back up. Square your shoulders towards that right leg. Exhale to fold. Inhale, lifting up halfway. Exhale again, fold. Inhale, lift all the way up. Reach both arms up. Lift the hips up. Hands in front of your heart. Right knee to meet the left. Sit on top of your heels. Then bring your hands behind you on the floor, right hand firmly down, and then swing that left arm up overhead. Open the chest. From here, swing towards the other side, left hand into the floor, reach your right arm up. Again, towards the other side, right hand onto the floor. This time, take your hips with you. Lift your hips up. 
back. So come back down and move towards the other side. Bring your hips up as well. Slowly coming back to center. And from here, we're gonna change position, positions on the mat. If you're practicing together, one person can look that way, the other person can look the other way. So you're mirroring each other. Placing your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips, starting in a tabletop. With your inhale, start to drop your belly down, open through the chest. As you exhale, round. Inhale, arch the spine, gaze up. Exhale, pull that navel close in towards the spine. One more round. Inhale, arch. Exhale to round. Coming back to neutral, curl the toes into the floor, lift the hips up, come into your downward facing dog. First downward facing dog of today, so if you need to bend the knees, bend the hips, shake the hips, shake the head, do whatever feels good. And then slowly finding stillness in your downward facing dog. Feet as wide as the hips, hands as wide as the shoulders. Press those hands flat into the floor. Arms are alongside your ears. Hug the armpits around the chest. Send the back of the heart up. Ears are in line with the arms. Send the hips up towards the sky. Send the heels down towards the floor. Then ripple forward into a high plank. Hold your high plank here. And then bring your knees, your chest, your chin down towards the floor. Come all the way down flat onto the belly. Hands are next to the chest. On your inhale, press up for a baby cobra. Exhale, come back down. Push back through a tabletop into a child's pose. Relax your hips on top of your heels. Relax your forehead down towards the mat. Take one more breath here. Slowly coming back into a tabletop. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Bring the hips up towards the sky, downward facing dog. Then start to walk the feet forward. Walk the feet behind the wrists. Feet are at hip width distance. Taking a forward fold here, grabbing opposite elbows, rocking from left to right. Let gravity pull you closer towards the earth. Feel the length on the back side of the body. Letting go of the elbows. Placing your hands underneath your shoulders, lifting up halfway. And then again, exhale to fold. Now walk your feet a little bit wider, place your feet as wide as the mat, and come into your yogi squat. So bring the hips down towards the floor. Now press your elbows in towards the knees, open through the hips, hands are in front of your heart. Keep lifting your heart up towards the sky, and maybe lift a little bit out of the hips, engaging the legs a little bit more. Then placing both hands onto the floor. With your left foot, taking a big step back, coming into your lizard pose. And if you need to adjust that front foot, place the foot a little bit more forward. Your knee is aligned above that right ankle, keeping that back knee lifted. And then from here, bring your left knee down towards the floor. Coming onto the fingertips here, so lifting out of the heart, shining the heart forward and sinking the hips a little bit further down. Now if you want a little bit more, you can start to heel toe that foot a little bit out towards the side and come onto the outer edge of that right foot. Firmly press that left hand into the floor and your right hand into the inside of your right thigh. Opening out towards the side. Can you maybe spiral the chest open towards the right? Gazing over your right shoulder. If you want a little bit more, take a bend in that back knee and see if you can grab that foot with your right hand. 
pulling your foot closer in towards the buttocks. Feeling a nice quad stretch here. Opening through the shoulders, opening through the chest. Slow letting go of that back foot. Reaching that right hand back forward here. Curl the toes of the back foot into the floor and then step your left foot forward. Come back into that yogi squat. Bring the hips down towards the floor or keep them hovering above the floor, lifting out of the hips. Press the elbows in towards the knees. Lengthen through the spine, lift through the heart. Moving towards the other side, placing both hands into the mat, stepping back with the right foot, big step back, coming into your lizard pose. Keeping that back knee lifted for a moment here. If you need to adjust that front foot, go ahead. And then bring that right knee down towards the floor and curl the toes. Come higher onto the fingertips, shine the heart forwards, sink the hips down. Then bring your left hand to the inside of your left thigh. Maybe roll onto the outer edge of that left foot and start to press that left knee out towards the side, gazing over your left shoulder. You can plant that right hand firmly down into the mat. Bending through your back knee. See if you can go for the bind, grabbing that back foot, pull the foot closer in toward the, towards the glutes. And then slowly letting the foot go, place the hand back onto the mat, lift the back knee off the floor, step the right foot forward. Yogi squat, one more time. Pressing the elbows in towards the knees, open through the hips. And then place the hands on the floor, send the hips up towards the sky. Come again into that forward fold. On your inhale, lifting up halfway. Axel again, fold. Inhale, lifting up halfway. Exhale to fold. Now plant the palms, stepping back into your downward facing dog. Taking one deep breath in here. Full breath out. On your inhale, send your right leg high, three-legged down dog. On your axle, step your right foot through, low lunge. Drop the back knee down towards the floor, uncurl the toes, lift the arms up. Relax through the shoulders. Keep pressing that right foot firmly into the mat. Keep lifting a little bit out of the hips. Then bend your right elbow, bring the hand in between the shoulder blades, bring your left hand on top of that right elbow. Gently guide a little bit further down to knit the ribs together here. Maybe go for the bind, bring your left hand behind your back, grabbing your right hand from behind. Going for a full bind here. Open through the chest. Can you create a little back bend here? Slowly let go of the bind. Reach both arms up. Axle hands down towards the mat. Curl the back toes into the floor. Reach the right leg up. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Exhale, step the right foot through, low lunge. Inhale to rise, high crescent lunge. And bring your hands in front of your heart. And start to bring the weight a little bit more forward and hook that left elbow over the right knee, coming into a twisted lunge. Pressing that right hand into the left, try to guide the hands towards the center of your heart gazing up over your right shoulder. Inhale, slowly come back to center. Hands in front of your heart. Shift the way forward. Kick the left leg up. Come into your warrior three. From your warrior three, bring your hands down towards the mat. Come into your standing split. Bring your nose closer towards that right shin. Inhale here, exhale, left knee behind the right, come into your Shiva squat. Inhale, kick your left leg up, exhale, Shiva squat, 
and this time bring the hips all the way down towards the floor, come into a seated position. Bring your right hand behind you on the floor, left hand, left arm hugs your right knee. Inhale to find a little bit more length, exhale twist. From here, counter twist, twist over towards the left, bring the hips up and walk around, coming into a downward facing dog facing the other side. Taking a deep breath in here, full breath out. On your inhale, send your left leg high, three-legged down dog. On your axle, step your left foot through a low lunge. Drop the back knee down towards the floor, uncurl the toes. Inhale, rise, Anjaneyasana. Relax through the shoulders, press firmly into that left foot. This time, bend the left elbow, right hand on top of that left elbow and guide that left hand further down in between the shoulder blades. If you wanna go for the bind, reach the right hand behind your back, grab for the hand, open through the heart. Can you create a tiny back bend here? Lift the heart higher to the sky. Inhale, come back, reach both arms up. Axel, frame your front foot. Lift the back knee off the floor. With your inhale, lift your left leg up, three-legged down dog. Axel, step your left foot through, low lunge. Inhale, come up for your high crescent lunge. Bring your hands in front of your heart, relax your shoulders. Shift the way forward. Twist over towards the left, hook your right elbow over your left knee. Come into your twisted lunge. Press into that left hand, try to guide your hands to the center of your heart, gazing over your left shoulder. Inhale, slowly coming back to center, reach both arms up. Bring your hands in front of your heart, come into your warrior three, kick that right leg up. Have your torso and your right leg parallel to the floor. Breathe here. And with your axle, bring your hands down towards the mat, coming into your standing split. Bring your nose closer towards your left chin. Send that right leg high. Inhale here. Exhale, Shiva squat. Right knee behind the left. Inhale, kick back up. Standing split. Exhale, Shiva squat. Right knee behind the left. Sit down in between the feet and come into your twist. Reach your left hand up, hug your left knee with your right arm, gaze over your left shoulder. From here, counter twist, twist over towards the right. Start to bring the hips up, walk over into your down dog facing the front of the mat. Taking a nice deep breath in here. Open your mouth and breathe out. Another clearing breath here, breathe in through the nose. Exhale, release. And on your next inhale, bend through the knees, gaze in between the hands. Exhale, step, hop or jump forward in between the hands. Inhale to lift up halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rise up, reach both arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Moving into a balancing pose. So both come stand at the center of your mat. You can still face opposite directions, but you're hip to hip at this moment. So anchor your right foot firmly into the mat, moving into a tree pose. So your left foot, is on the inside of your ankle, on your calf, or on the inside of your right thigh. Bring your hands in front of your heart. Move that left knee out towards the side. Keep pressing the hips forward. Now from here, start to bring your right hand up towards the sky. 
If you're practicing alone, you can just stay here. And if you're practicing together, maybe move that right palm out towards the side and see if you can connect your palms towards each other. Feel supported in this tree pose. Slowly bring your right hand back down, hands in front of your heart, moving into a figure four shape. So lifting that left leg a little bit more forward and place your left ankle on top of your right thigh and come sit into your figure four. And from here, start to twist over towards the right, hook that left elbow into that right sole, of, uh, into the left sole of your foot, pressing the hands in towards each other. Inhale, slowly coming back to the center. Extend that right leg, and then just come stand into your mountain pose. Moving towards the other side. So you can both face the other side. Anchor that left foot firmly down into the mat. Place that right foot either on the ankle, on the calf, or place it on the inside of your left thigh. Press that left foot into the thigh, your thigh into the foot. Open that right knee out towards the sides. Hands in front of your heart. From here, start to lift your left hand up. If you're practicing alone, you can stay here. If you're practicing together, open your palm and see if you can connect. Slowly coming back to center, moving into your figure four, placing your right ankle on top of your left thigh, come sit down into your figure four shape. Keep the right foot flexed, sit down deep. Moving slowly into that twist, hooking that right elbow into the right sole of the foot. Pressing your left hand into the right, twisting over towards the left. Slowly coming out of the pose and come into your mountain pose. Release the arms down. Now from here, stepping the right foot a little bit further back opening towards the back, coming into a wide-legged forward fold. Move the crown down towards the floor. Stay here for one breath. Then slowly on your inhale, walk the hands underneath the shoulders. Walk your hands all the way over towards the right until you can come sit down in between the feet. Shoelace. So your right knee is on top of your left you can grab your feet here make sure that your sitting bones are in between the feet and on your inhale lift through the heart and on your exhale maybe come into a nice fold here bringing a little bit more weight into the legs if this for you is enough you can just stay here it's already an intense stretch on the outsides of your hips do whatever feels good for you here Inhale, coming back up. Place both hands to the left side, lift through the hips, and then walk all the way over towards the left until again you can come sit down in between the feet. We're now on the other side. So your left leg is on top, your right leg is underneath. Grabbing your feet here, place those sitting bones firmly into the mat. On your inhale, lift through the heart. On your exhale, maybe come into a nice tiny fold here only if that feels good. On your inhale, coming back up, place your hands behind you on the floor, lean back and then just untangle the legs. Go for some windshield wipers, moving the feet, the knees towards the right and towards the left. Shaking out the hips. And then from here, we'll move into a white legged fold or straddle pose. So come place your feet wide. Release any cushion from underneath your bum. 
So you slowly start to tilt a little bit more forward. Then place your hands underneath the shoulders and then gently start to walk the hands further forward, coming into your forward fold. Now if you're practicing together, maybe you can grab each other's arms and pull each other just a tiny bit closer into the fold. See if you can go a little bit deeper, using each other to find a little bit more depth. And then slowly start to walk the hands back. Now with the use of the hands, place the soles of the feet into the mat and start to drop your left knee out towards the floor, parallel the shin. This shin is also down towards the floor and we're gonna square our shoulders towards the back of the mat. Coming into a deer pose so that right shin is parallel to the long side of the mat and your left shin is parallel to the short side of the mat. And start to walk the hands forward and coming into a fold. Keep the toes of that left foot flexed. Slowly start to create more space around the hips. Now, if this is enough, you can stay here, of course. And if you want a little bit more, start to extend that right leg towards the back. So curl the toes of that right foot into the floor. Maybe come with your weight a little bit more towards the center. Coming into your pigeon pose, then relax the toes flat into the mat. Maybe bring the elbows underneath the shoulders here first. And then slowly coming into your sleeping pigeon, walking your hands all the way forward. Bring your forehead down towards the mat. Slowly start to walk your hands back underneath the shoulders. And then from here, move on to the left bum, come back into the center, we'll move towards the other side. So bring your right knee out, flatten that shin. The right shin is parallel to the short side of the mat, the left shin is parallel to the long side of the mat. And we'll square off the shoulders towards the back of the mat. Come into your deer pose. Flex the toes of the right foot. If this is enough, you can stay here. If you want a little bit more, start to curl the toes of that left foot into the floor. Roll onto that left hip a little bit more, coming into your pigeon pose. And then relax the toes of that left foot flat onto the floor. Bring the elbows underneath the shoulders, lift through the heart, and walk the hands forward, come into your sleeping pigeon. Start to walk your hands back underneath the shoulders. Move on to that left bum. From here, bring both legs towards the front of the mat. Coming into a seated position. Again, removing that cushion here. Last forward fold. Inhale, reach the arms up. Make yourself nice and tall. Curl the toes towards the shins. And as you exhale, fold forward. Relax the forearms down towards the floor. Reach towards the feet. And relax here. Can you relax your neck? Taking one more deep breath in here. On your axle, can you find a little bit more space? Inhale, lifting up halfway first. Lengthen through the spine. Then come all the way up, reach the arms up. Place your hands behind you on the floor. Soles of the feet move down into the floor. Reach your hands forward. And then roll all the way down towards your back. 
Bring the knees in towards the chest. Draw some circles with your knees, massaging the muscles in your lower back. Circle the other way around. And then slowly get ready for your final Shavasana. Before we move into your Shavasana, bring your forehead towards your knees. Give yourself a final big squeeze. Inhale here. And exhale, release down towards the mat. Release your legs towards the end of the mat. Let the toes flare out. Arms are alongside your body, palms are facing up. Relax your shoulders down. Tuck your chin and close your eyes here. Feel the flow of energy around the body. Feel the heat that we created from within. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And then exhale, release. The body become heavy. Allow the muscles to relax. Soften your face. And lay your in stillness for just a few more moments. If you want to stay a little bit longer your Shavasana, please feel free to stay as long as you like. If you want to end the class with me, slowly start to create more movement around the fingers, the toes, the ankles, the wrists. Gently start to pull the knees in towards the chest. Make yourself into a tiny little ball. Bring your forehead towards your knees. And then push yourself up into a seated position, keeping the eyes closed for just a moment. Then place your hands to heart center. Taking a moment here to say thank you to yourself, giving yourself some gratitude for showing up, for rolling out your mat. I would like to say thank you as well for letting me guide you through this practice. Let's take a breath in through the nose. Full breath out. Namaste. Thank you for joining and see you next time on the mat.